Hello, it's Argo here. Thank you very much for checking this out. This is episode number six of At Dead of Night. If you haven't seen the previous episode, um, I will link it in the card above. Um, check that out. If you haven't seen any part of this series and you want to see it from the very beginning, um, check out my channel. It is on a playlist where you can watch all the episodes in order. Um, but without further ado, this um, we just completed um, Harvey's uh, story where he's the owner of the hotel and it ended up being where Jimmy um, killed him behind the stage or the banquet room. Um, which is very interesting. He stabbed him in the in the in the neck. So we are obviously getting the further we get in the story, the more graphic and um, aggressive Jimmy is getting to the people that we are meeting. So um, it the, we left off where it asked us to go to room three, I believe. So we are going to check. We're going to go to floor three and see where this goes. Um, I'm assuming. The, the next person we have to meet is Rose, which is his mother, which is going to be very interesting. And I feel like he'll be even a little bit more protective over learning the secrets uh, that his mom could give, which is going to be something that I think we're going to dive a little deep into. So let's just get into it and see where it goes. Let's go. Okay. So you start off right where you left off, which... It's in this banquet room that finally opened up. We never had it opened up before this. Why is... Is this asking me to go to another room? I thought the vision said... Room... Oh, hey! The lights are flickering. Oh, snap. Behold! Oh. I am the great Hugo! I stand alone above Hugo. all others. I am the light which illuminates the darkness. I alone am master. Are we going to meet him as you go? Did we just get drugged? Is anyone there? Is someone there? I can't go straight. I can't go straight anymore. Is someone there? Hmm. I feel like back in the game just Is to ask. There? Trying to find something. Okay. Alright, I guess I need to go to floor three because that is where. Let me just check in this room. Who's there? Oh boy. Thank <laughs> you. 
I hope you guys are ready. I hope we are ready. Okay, so where should we start? Okay, it's going to the right. I'm trying to see where this is taking me. Taking me 301. What's your name? What's your what? What's your name? What's your name? What am I supposed to do? It's, the litter is pointing in here. What? I've never seen a in the bathroom. What is going on? We're going out of. That is definitely new. Oh man, he's scared the sh He scared the crap out of me on jumping through there. Look that. So where are we supposed to go? Are we supposed to go down to like the bottom floor? I don't know if I'm supposed to say that literally down the hole to the like saying let's go to the next floor. Maya, don't be calling me boy. I'm out of here. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that literally, like am I supposed to go down to like 201? Let's see what the compass says. Oh! Harvey was going to shoot Jimmy. It was just a letter opener. It was self-defense. Look. Is that Rose? Is that Rose? Hello? Oh, no. I need to go in that corner. Is someone there? Where am I supposed to go? Is someone there? She was walking this way. Is anyone there? What? Okay, so that's too far away. This is far away. 
Is she in here? Where are you, lady? Is anyone there? Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. What's your name? Rose. Ooh. Rose. Okay. I saw a lady explaining that the dagger was a letter opener. Who was she? It was me. I Ooh. had to explain to the police that the dagger was just a letter opener and that Harvey had a loaded gun. Jimmy acted in self-defense. They understood. What? So the police knew about Harvey's death. That's a creepy eye. Is anyone there? Where was that in the hotel? It was like... It looked like, obviously, a car was driving up. So if a car was driving up, it had to be... Maybe on the... can't be in the basement. It has to be in the ground. There was a car in the window, like, parking. So she had to talk to the police and tell them. They know Jimmy killed Harvey. Wrong way. Was I wrong about the... Okay, there's now the lights flicker. You always have to see a video. Okay. Jimmy. What? Rose. Rose is just as creepy as Jimmy. I don't know if I want to talk to Rose. She's she's making my hair and my arm stick out. She's a little Is it Rose? Creepy too. Who are you greeting at the entrance and reception? Jimmy. Jimmy. He was coming home. The police understood. They believed him. But it changed him. Oh. He started helping me. Helping run the hotel. And he found a way of bringing in more guests. I bet he did. I heard a man shouting at someone, telling them to do as he says. Who was he? I never knew what he wanted. There was only one thing I could give him. Oh boy. I saw someone on stage, a performer, announcing himself as the great Hugo. He was a magician and an entertainer. He bought the hotel to promote his stage show. He became famous. I worked as an assistant, then things developed. I saw Harvey being stabbed backstage. What happened? Harvey had gone mad. Jimmy was just defending himself. I bet he was. So what do we need? What items do we have? Where was the crossbow from? It was from a display Harvey used to have. But I didn't like it being in the hotel. Who is Hugo Punch? It was Jimmy's comedy act. 
Oh, okay, so Hugo Punch wasn't the one on stage. Is that something I need to do with... Do I need to combine this? With the Hugo? When you said Jimmy found a way of bringing in more guests, is that connected to what you said about the Hugo Punch poster? Ooh. That was Jimmy's stage act. He was a comedian. He was good. Really good. Was he? People started to come just to watch him. See it like a lady? Where was that? Was it back in the uh, the the stage? I hear like an audience. Gotta be something in here. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Oh, God, Rose, you're creepy. Can I turn? Is it Rose? Yes, I'm Rose. You're creepy, Rose. I saw you announcing Hugo Punch onto the stage. I was enjoying it. We were making money again. Everything seemed to be getting better until Jimmy started behaving oddly. I heard him shouting, staring at himself. Shouting at himself. I don't think I have anything. What you said about Jimmy staring at himself and becoming angry, is that connected to what you said about the Hugo Punch poster? I don't know. Don't know. Okay. So what do I have? It seems like he would need a mirror or something. Right? Or a sighting of him staring at himself? I don't, I don't have any... Oh man, do I have to go find more Who items? Who does the gun belong to? Harvey. But it was kept in my bedroom. Oh, okay. Was there a fire at the hotel? That doesn't have anything to do with... What you said about Jimmy staring at himself and becoming angry, is that connected to what you said about the fire in the hotel? Maybe. I don't know. Don't we have a mirror? Like, don't we always have a mirror anyways? Right? I thought we... This mirror. I don't have one? Is that a mirror? I never knew.
Oh, it's not. That's weird. Hmm. Where do I need to go? What? Is it Rose? Okay, so at least I know where she is. Problem though is, I don't think I have any... I don't think I have any items for it. I think I'm about to look for more items. What are those rusty old keys for? Let me see if she'd tell me anything different about these. They were to the boiler room. But we had to have the door replaced. Who did the wedding ring belong to? Ooh, was it Harvey? What was the coil of wire used for? Jimmy used to carry wire around with him. He liked playing around with electronics. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? Harvey must have put them there. Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? They were mine. Oh, okay. To go away, but I never got a chance. Oh, Rose wanted to leave. Who drew those violent pictures? Jimmy used to draw pictures about the war. He was like most boys. He's not like most boys. I have no... Okay, so I gotta get some new items because I don't have anything to ask her about that's new. And she said Jimmy was staring at himself, ye like yelling at himself, staring at him. So where would I need to go? I don't know if I need to start back on floor. Gah. Please don't tell me I need to start back on floor one and go through rooms. Because that would... Annoy the cr <laughs> Hmm. I did floor three while we were doing Harvey's story. I think go back to floor one. I don't think I've been to floor one. We'll just start with floor one and then we'll just go and see. Because I don't really know. We'll just start with like one one and just. See if we can find something new. And what happened to the people in the blankets? From like early in the game? I know I've been in one one, right? Okay, this is a trophy. I haven't been in here. One oh five. Have I not been in one oh five? We'll just go in order and see. Well, there's a mirror. You already have a mirror. Okay. Why are there two? Did not mean to do that. I might be off on a way. 
bad tangent here. Okay, well, if Jimmy's not there, we're just going to have to go through the rooms and stuff, because I don't know what we're looking for. Alright, that room's dark. We'll have to go through and just check the rooms until we find some new items, because it has to be something that... Oh, what? I thought I went in these rooms. I wonder if items have to be added. There's no way I didn't go in these rooms. Yeah, there's a possibility. I was scared at the beginning. Uh, Jimmy, you ain't coming over here. Alright, so I got that. Storeroom. Did I really not check all these drawers when I was running in the first time I played? Seems very strange. Oh, that's where you get the first item. That's right. When you get knocked out. Well, at least if I get caught by Jimmy, I am in the first floor. Yeah, blood stain. You already have the compass. Alright. We're going to figure this out. I promise. <laughs> One way or the other. If it takes you long, maybe I'll cut some of the footage out. What was that? Chef's hat. Okay. Man, my tensions are high on floor one. This is where I got caught the most. Is he going to be right there? Was he to the left of me? What was that noise? I think he was to the left of me. I just, I didn't even stop. I just kept going. <laughs> So I know Ashley in the last video commented that he goes in the bathroom so I can lock the door. Let me see if that's true. Can I lock it? How do you lock it? 
Do I have 15? Wow, I only have 105 on this floor. Well, that's a big rip. I don't have any keys for this floor. Uh, there was a person, and that was him. Uh, oh, Harv, oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, don't be peeking around the corner of me, man. Don't be doing that to me. Jimmy. All right, we leave floor one. <laughs> we leave floor one. <laughs> we leave floor one. <laughs> That was enough of Jimmy peeking around the corner for me. That was enough. That was enough. A little too much. That was a little too much. We will check floor three again for items. Because Jimmy was kind of creeping me out too much right there. We're gonna, we gonna pause on floor one. I feel like though when he's more active like that means you're close. I feel like when he's that close or when he's that active you're close to whatever you need to find. I don't know if that's true but that's How are you up here already? <sighs> Peeking around a corner, man. Alright, well I guess I gotta go this way. Let's go down here first. Let's go. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. I know you can see me, creepy man. We'll go back to floor one now. Oh, my God. Oh boy, he is on me. <laughs> I'm not just leaving, going floor to floor. Okay, so I got to find something that belongs to Jimmy. It's got to be something that belongs to Jimmy. where I found Jimmy I know you're chasing me man don't appreciate it Four, okay. See, I've I've had to open that before. So the keys do spawn afterwards. So you do have to recheck rooms. Oh, who are you? 
Why can't you remove the blanket? Please remove the blanket, people. Please remove the blanket. I know you know. Come say hi, please. Walk by. Come on, give me some luck. One twelve. Luck. Lucky one twelve. I bit. I've been in one twelve, like just now. Dang it. I think this is where he chased me away. What? He's not around here, is he? I need to get a room. He was walking by behind me. He was walking right behind me. The only person being rude is you, man. Is he going to pop up? Please, give me something good. Sword. Suitcases. I've almost already checked all the floors or all the rooms in this floor. So I must not be in, I might not be close. Well, that's not creepy. Hmm. All right, well, I guess it's not on floor one. Maybe I just need to go back to floor three. I wish my compass would not lead me straight to Jimmy.
This is a dead end, isn't it? Where is the elevator? I might just have to fast forward through some of that. So the let's play. I might, have to, I might have to fast forward through some of that. Just speed it up a little bit. Oh! only two rooms over there. There's not that many rooms on the third floor. Let's just check them all because then we'll think, then it's got to be on the second floor if I don't find it up here. It's only nine rooms up here. It's not like the first floor with like 20 something rooms. Can't go in the two. Oh, right, where's three or three? What are they doing to their hands? Oh, they're bound. I've never seen someone on the third floor that like that. All right, so three, four is taken. Let's check five first. So this is how I. Why is that locked? Why can't I get in 3-5? That is weird. So now I gotta find a deadbolt lock for 305. What? Some broken mirrors? Could that be where he was screaming and yelling? Did we just find it? I'm definitely gonna have to fast forward through that whole floor level one. All right, let's go. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. I'm stuck. Okay, now we gotta go. We gotta go. He knows. We he knows we get we on him. We on him. While I'm here, I might as well check it. Oh, dang it. He tricked me. He was in the bathroom. Oh, he tricked me. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Sneaky boy, sneaky, sneaky. All right, we gotta get our device back. I hope we kept our mirrors. That was in room 30, oh shoot, I forgot. I think six.
Thank you. All right, let's go back down to the ground floor. That's got to be it. I can't believe I didn't go in that room for that item before. Alright, we know Jimmy can't be down here. Alright, stop. Go straight. Talk to Creepy Rose again. Please be it. Please be it. Please be it. Is it Rose? Yes, I'm Rose. How did those mirrors get broken? Jimmy broke them. What she said about Jimmy staring at himself and becoming angry. That's Is gotta that be it. That's gotta to be it. What she said about the broken mirrors. That's gotta be it. Breaking the mirrors was just a start. I asked him about it, but he didn't remember doing any of it. And other strange things started happening. What? That's Rose. That's floor three. I can tell by the carpet. That was 4-3. I can tell by the green fl floral carpet. Go to floor 3. That was the end table, I think. When you go out the elevator to your left, I want to say. That's the end table by the store. I love how they put like little hints. What? Is that a radio or TV playing? I don't know if I want to go towards that. getting louder and louder. Holy, what the? That is creepy. Lots of mannequins. So we found it in 3 in one of these rooms usually when it's dark is it rose okay yeah yes what I is going on that standing in a corridor full of mannequins who put them there who do you think jimmy What? Like the mirrors, he was starting to fracture. Jimmy wasn't in control anymore. Oh, you are saying that he has split, like a split personality? Bipolar? Split per I don't know. Oh, we're going back to the dining room. We're going to the ballroom, or whatever it's called.
Jimmy, you don't want to mess with me, man. I know you're right there, but I'm gonna catch my elevator flight. I know you were right there. Don't mess with me. Have a good day. Creep me out. Creep, just creep me out more. This was a lot to ask for for someone that just wanted to spend the night for a festival. What is going on? Is that people booing? Backstage again. I lost my compass. No. When he caught me. Oh. It's his comedy routine. Oh my god. It's his sense of humor. Oh, I'm sorry if you've been offended. Uh, excuse me. Oh my god. Rose, you're, Is it you're, Rose, you're reminding me of Amy. Is it Rose? <sighs> do I just need to do it right here? No. Is anyone there? I can hear you. Okay. Is it Rose? Yes. I'm Rose. I saw you in the ballroom. The audience was booing and you were apologizing. What was happening? It wasn't Jimmy on stage anymore. It was Hugo Punch, his comedy character. Hugo started insulting his audience every night. Uh -oh. And one night after the show, a guest told Jimmy what she thought of him. Jimmy lost his temper. He did something stupid. What did he do? When you said Jimmy lost his temper and did something stupid, does that have something to do with what you said about the gun? I don't know anything about that. Is that the fire? When you said Jimmy lost his temper and did something stupid, is that connected to what you said about the fire in the hotel? Oh no, I'm losing her. Why could he do something that was stupid? The when you said Jimmy lost his temper and did something stupid, is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? Did something with electronics? Jimmy locked her in a room and tied her up. I didn't know what he was going to do. I found her and let her go. Jimmy said it was a joke. She didn't press charges, but she told the newspapers. She didn't, why is locked? She didn't press charges? That's the front desk again. Hit the bell. What is going on? Where is this compass trying to tell me to go? 
Tell me to go right? Oh! Upset people were knocking on the door asking questions. Who were they? Reporters? Wanted to leave everything behind and go. Was it anything to do with the goodbye letter? Who wrote the note that says goodbye? Jimmy wrote it. That's it. When you said Jimmy wanted to leave everything behind and go, is that connected to the goodbye note? Floor two. Why is my compass pointing down here? My compass point down here for a reason? No? I don't know why my compass point down here. It's like point. Is it broken? Alright, let's go to floor two. I don't think I've been on floor two this entire storyline. Lead me the lead me way, lead me the way. Okay. Point to this room? No. Something getting louder. I don't know what that was. Oh. What do you do? Is it Rose? Yes, I'm Rose. I saw you in a room upstairs. It looked like you found someone in the bathroom. What happened? Truth about what? Oh man, please don't tell me I have to go look at other items again. I found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. You what tried were to they for? I don't know. They belong to Harvey. Uh, Where did the bottle of diazepam come from? The doctor. Why did he try to kill himself? No. What did he say there? The ring was mine. Someone offered me a... 
Did she tell him that she was marrying someone? She said that told him the truth. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, is that connected to the wedding ring? Someone made off him. No. Who does the dagger belong to? What were all the crickets and baseball bats for? They used to belong to my husband when he was a teacher. Um, teacher. Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? Hmm. She had to tell him the truth and it pushed him to be in you know. Did she marry Hugo? Is that why his name's that? When you said things developed with Hugo, is that connected to the wedding ring? So she was married. Before things started to change. Am I done here or? No. Okay. So now things change with Hugo. Why was there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? Uh, is anybody Why here? was there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Is she not talking to me anymore? No, no, no! Is it Rose? Yes. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, is that connected to the wedding ring? Why was there a washing line tied around hmm. a rolling pin? I don't know anything about that. Who does the sword belong to? It belonged to the suit of armor we had. But it wasn't missing. Who did the chef's hat belong to? Thank you. I think I asked her about everything. I asked her about those. Where did the wooden paddle come from? It belonged to my husband. I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? It was Jimmy in the bath. He tried to kill himself. That's why I had to tell him the truth. 
have to tell him the truth. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, does that have anything to do with what you said about the crossbow? Maybe the poster? When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, is that connected to what you said about the Hugo Punch poster? I don't know. I gotta look for more items. Oh! I don't know if I should go back to. I found the, obviously the broken mirrors in floor three. If I should be going back to floor three. I think that was in room 306. I didn't check the other room that was next to it. I got too excited with the broken mirrors. So. So there's only four rooms that I haven't checked up here. And then I'll have to go back down to... Okay, so what is this? 303. No, I checked... I checked 306. I don't know if I did five. Or did I do five and not six? I don't know, we'll do both. No, it was definitely not this one. Oh, what is this? Did she have a, another baby? Oh boy. To have another baby. Is that the truth? Should I go ask her? How, how am I? Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, we're in 306. We'll check while we're here. Oh, that's a broken marriage. Okay. I didn't find it in 306. Okay, cool. So I need to go back to 223. No, I'm in a freaking dead end again. <laughs> ah! Oh, Jimmy! Oh, I screwed around too much. Screwed around too much. I was not expecting that at all. Oh man, what do you put me at? 202? Oh, I need to get my device first. Dang it. I forgot, I was gonna just go to 223 now, but I forgot you gotta get your device first. Dude, how are you gonna be right behind me? How do you get out of floor two? Two eleven. I 
know, I need to find the elevator. Oh, please have the key for 206. I'm gonna lock this guy in a room. I wanna lock him in the room so bad. I gotta come back to floor two anyways. Or is Hugo his dad? Hmm. Maybe Hugo, maybe he's the baby. All right, 223 is this way. He may come on, dude. No. Dang it, I know he's that direction, too. Is it the baby rattle? Please be clear. the baby's rattle belong to? When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, does that have something to do with the baby's rattle? I don't know. Don't know? supposed to do from there dang we did the sightings connections man shouting baby crying you said there was only one thing you could give Hugo. Does that have something to do with the baby's rattle? I didn't even see that. It said child crying. I thought having a child would solve everything. I was wrong. 
A baby doesn't solve anything. Well, man, I am stuck now. I don't like getting these connections. That doesn't give you anything, so... You have paired these. What can it be? Ah, here you go. I'll wait till you leave. You go, man. This is where I gotta go. That's literally the direction I gotta go. How does that work? Hey! Hey! Come get me. Does that work? He won't buy me. I think it might have worked. Well, that was interesting. That was interesting. <laughs> Right, I need to get to the ground floor to regroup to figure out so Jimmy doesn't interrupt. What do we need to go? So baby never solves anything. I thought having a child would solve everything. I was wrong. I kept him. I think the only place we really haven't been lately is. She did tell me about the boiler room keys. No one else told. Harvey told me about the boiler room keys, and we had something. Oh, what the... What happened to the elevator? Oh, no. Don't, don't tell me Jimmy was really abused when he was a kid. What? I was not expecting that. Basement store. What is in the basement store?
Don't I have the basement floor key? Basement store room key. You're supposed to use the key? Oh my god. I was not aware of that. That's how you lock doors. Birth certificate for Jimmy Hall. Okay. Hugo was his dad. Okay, so I guess I need to go ask Amy about this now. Use the key. So that's how you lock doors on the dead bolts. All right, two two twenty-three. Please, Jimmy, please don't be on the side. I don't think he is. Sweet. Is someone there? Hello? Is it Rose? Yes. I found Jimmy's birth certificate. Yes. It says Hugo Hall is Jimmy's real father. When you said you had to tell Jimmy the truth, does that have something to do with what you said about Jimmy's birth certificate? I admitted it all to Jimmy. Jimmy didn't remember Hugo. He blocked out the memory. Hugo beat Jimmy from when he was born. Oh. For two years. I should have stopped it earlier. Oh, don't tell me that. What is that? That's the boiler room. Oh. No. No. Nothing ever good happens in the boiler room. Oh, Jimmy! I want to know: Does Jimmy have? Did Jimmy get his hair from Hugo? Having a baby does not. No, do I want to see this? No. Where am I supposed to go? Is someone there? See this. You do what I tell you to. Is 
She attacks someone with a bat. Is it Rose? I saw you with a wooden bat, attacking someone. Who was it? Hugo. I buried him down there in concrete, in a secret room. I should have done it sooner. I let him abuse Jimmy for too long. It was my fault Jimmy turned out the way he did. Oh, no. What did you do? Oh no. When you said you couldn't live with yourself, is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? The only thing we haven't used is the lighter, I think. And I don't know if I want to do that. When you said you couldn't live with yourself, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine? Oh, no, that was, Ro that was Amy. I had no choice. Oh. Or two again? Her using turpentine and, and lighter is not going to be good. I need to go compass. I'm here. Did I just lead him into me? Am I ever safe? Compass point in this direction. Oh, sh
Rose, oh my god. Ask Jimmy to show you where Hugo lives. Hello? What? I know Hugo's your father, Jimmy. I found your birth certificate, and I know Rose tried to kill him. But she failed, didn't she? Then where is he now? <laughs> right here? Well, why don't you come and meet him? It's time I introduce you to the family, Maya. <laughs> You completed Rose's story. Where is he, though? I'm lost. Down here. Where am I supposed to go? Is it the boiler room? That's where Hugo's body is? This is the only thing I can assume, but why would I want to go in the boiler room? I got all these keys, I'll be jumping out of a window and leaving. Yep, boiler room. Different room. Welcome to Hugo's grave. Mother's little secrets. She mixed the concrete herself, you know, then poured it over his lifeless body and watched it set. She thought she got rid of him, but she didn't get it, Maya. You see, Hugo was just one of us. Just another log on the fire. He burned out. And the fire has been burning down the halls for centuries. Clearing the way. Lighting the darkness. Laying waste to the old and the poor and the weak. And it's burning in you. Too, what? I can tell. We are destined to be together, you and I. You're the one I've been waiting for. Maya? Which is why I can't let you leave. You're staying here with me, Maya. Forever. Oh. You found five dreadlock key. You have five friends to rescue. Oh, I didn't know what floors, what rooms they were in. You have to rescue your friends, but if Jimmy catches you, it's game over.
Man, I forgot what rooms they were in. I should have been paying attention. What? Why can't you, what? I gotta find the deadbolt lock for one, what was that, 120? Oh boy. So you have to find your five friends without Jimmy doing it. Or the game will not save anymore. Is what it said. But we're going to end this episode now. Since we finished Rose's story. And. Obviously. Just like. Where you have that. Very, very intense music. When it turned out. Um, you have that very. Like you, they try to change your perspective on Jimmy. Not necessarily that you will start liking him, but that it's always a very good storyline when you can feel bad for the villain, even though it doesn't excuse their actions. So you feel bad when you see and you play through the story that, um, Jimmy's father Hugo beat him for two years, especially when he was a baby. Like, um, and then Rose's guilt of not stopping it, and then you know the emotional scars that that caused caused him to act out. And then when she told him the truth, he just snapped, and then he became this Hugo punch. So we will uh, leave it here for this episode. We will. Rescue our five friends. But I'll do that in a... Since it doesn't save, I'm going to do that in one run. And we will just get chased. And we will try to accomplish that. Um, I guess that's like an extra challenge. So if you would like to see that, uh, let me know in the comments below. And then uh, I can record it and get it through. And just post that video of just rescuing the end, the end game. <laughs> um, but I've really enjoyed this game. Um, I... It scared the crap out of me at some moments, but I've really enjoyed it. It was a very nice puzzle game to play through, and I've really enjoyed it. So hopefully you guys have too. Um, let me know in the comments below. Um, the next game we will be playing is Resident Evil Village. So that will be coming out um, probably a day or two after the game is released. And so I can get ahead because I want to try to pump those, out, those playthroughs out as fast as possible since the game will be brand new. So... Um, with that, I will take a breather, um, recollect myself before I try to save everyone, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.